Hey guys, Chad at Spire Racing Heads. Doing something different tonight. This is Saturday night, 7.41 in the evening. Sitting in my chair, watching it snow. Got my dog on my lap, watching a movie. And I want to show you guys something that uh, we're going to offer for sale. Um, my CNC guy, Jason Schultz, um, after he watched the videos on velocity, uh, he's really good at numbers, obviously, if he's, you know, digitizing and whatnot with the, with the cylinder heads. But he wrote a spreadsheet. So we decided that he writes the spreadsheet. I'm the one that you're going to be able to get it from. And we kind of went uh, together on this deal. It, it, uh, it, th there's no magic here. But what it's doing is it's an XLS. I, I actually run everything in, in in Google. It's just easier. Um, it just eliminates all the calculator and it eliminates all the guessing and it just spits out honest raw numbers and what you do with them is up to you. But I'm gonna show you how it works. So this first column here, you can see where it says number of cylinders, bore stroke, RPM. We'll start there. So let's say we're going to build a 406, okay? So we're going to build a 4155 by 3.75406. So we're going to target, uh, we want it to turn 7,500. And as I said in my other video, my target is 310. So taking those numbers right there, you can see with the, it, the results, it shows it's a 406. The 2.792 is the cross section needed at 55 Mach, which would be point or 613.9 feet per second. Also figures in CFN demand. Let's say you're building a 23 degree. See, the 373 is not going to happen. Um, you're going to have, and if it does, you're going to have a really big cylinder head. So, the bottom line is this, CFM demand and your actual flow. The closer you get your actual flow to CFM demand, the less pumping losses you have. And all of that equals efficiency, and the efficiency equals power. So let's say we're going to use a head, uh, we'll say we're going to use my 3.25 head, which going to put 800 lift in it flows uh say 325 okay so now what's going to happen is see it see it shows your mock number um 279 based off of velocity let's say up here our target velocity was 310 okay based off of 310 feet per second we're shooting for 2.52 minimum square inches. Long ways from the 2.79. Okay? So after you get all your numbers there, like I said, you can run it from 300 to 350, depending on what you're doing. It does all of that math for you. Keep going down on the box. Okay? Let's say our actual... Um, our actual... We flow 325. And let's say we do end up with 2.52 square inches. We're at 310. Just shows you how the numbers are the same. So what that box would be used for is let's say you're doing your design work. Let's say you're flowing your cylinder head. Uh, you can sit there and if you're flowing uh, 310, you can put a 310 in. Um, you don't move your cross section in any the area, then it'll just tell you exactly where you're at. Okay, go down here a little more, and now we're talking about average cross-section, which, like I said, if you use pipe max, that's the number it recommends. So, let's say I know my, I know my V2.5 is 227 cc's, and the port's 5.4 long, so the average cross-section is 5.7, Okay. So what that's telling you, simple terms, is if you've got an average of 2.57, you can't have a minimum of 2.58 at the front. Follow me? Okay. 
Go down a little further, and we're talking about valve size. Okay, so let's say my fat head has a 208 valve. The throat diameter is 1900. We're running a 341 stem. We are at 91.3 with the stem mount, and we have 2.74 cross sectionally. What that's going to tell you is after you know what valve size, you follow out how much area it has, it's going to tell you real quick, it's going to show you there's no way on a 23 degree at 227 cc's that you're going to have the throat the minimum. Obviously, if you come back up here, you're going to, you know, after we've done this, you, you know, you see that, you know, you're, you're only in the, you know, 2.6, 2.52 at the minimum, which that head actually is two and a half inches. So, like I said, it's eliminating all of the, all of the calculator work. Uh, if something you're interested in, 25 bucks. Uh, you can cash app it, you can uh, email it to me, uh, you can PayPal it. Uh, if you have any questions, post them. Um, I'll put my uh, contact info in the box. Um, but uh, it, it, it's just really uh, eliminates a lot of time. So um, thanks for looking on this Saturday night. If you guys have any questions, please get a hold of me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Talk to you soon.